For the first time, we are hearing from Gwyneth Paltrow's children, Apple and Moses, through depositions read in court by attorneys, describing the day on the ski slope when they say a man slammed into their mother, Apple describing her mother as frantic. She came in and she immediately, I noticed that she looked a bit shocked, and I asked what had happened, and she said, this a-hole ran into me. He ran right into my back. Paltrow's son Moses denied calling for his mother's attention, something the plaintiff has suggested distracted Paltrow before the collision. I saw my mother and a person behind her. When I skied over, I heard my mom yelling at the guy. She was saying something along the lines of, what the F word, you just ran into me. Paltrow is being sued by Terry Sanderson for $300,000 in damages. He claims she violently crashed into him at Deer Valley Resort in Utah and left the scene, causing permanent brain damage and emotional distress. But Paltrow's attorneys insist Sanderson was behind Paltrow on the slope. They called a biomechanics engineer to testify on the physics behind the fall, showing a simulation of the crash and claiming Paltrow's version of events is the only one that holds up. If you redo the calculations correctly, what this means is Mr. Sanderson can fall to the ground without Ms. Paltrow landing on him and sustain the rib fractures. Sanderson's team countering the testimony while suggesting the ski resort and Paltrow's instructor may have been trying to protect her because of her fame. Did it ever occur to you that this instructor might be covering up bad conduct by himself to protect Ms. Paltrow, a big spender at Deer Valley? Paltrow's husband could testify before the trial wraps up. Rhiannon Alley, ABC News, New York.